Interior kitchen, night, over black. The shrill, shrieking cry of baby. Interior kitchen, night. The infant's cries blast through a baby monitor, which is placed on top of a stove. The room is dark. The only light emits from a digital clock on the stove that flashes 3 a.m. Nearby is a fridge, where a woman, Lauren, 30, rummages through its freezer. Panicked, she tosses packages of thawed cellophane-wrapped meat onto the floor. She reaches into the cooler, pulls out the last packet containing a severed human hand. She takes pause. Trapped inside of the wrapping, a mixture of blood and water slosh around. Unbothered by it, she runs her hand over the thawed appendage, tenderly, lovingly. Pinned to the door of the fridge is a family portrait of a man, 30, and Lauren, posing with a newborn baby. Shit. Lauren slams the door shut. On the other side of it stands a man, the man in the family photo, except now he's covered in deep, bloody, yet cleanly divided cuts. His body strategically mapped out like a meat chart. Jack. He reaches out to Lauren, placing his hand on her face. She moves into him, wrapping her tired body around his. They both break into tears. I miss you. I miss you too. The freezer... Shh. I didn't know. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You know what to do. She pushes herself away from him. I, I, I can't. Of course you can. No, no, Jack, I, I don't... Lauren, this is what we agreed to. Jack walks over to the counter, opens the drawer, pulls out a cleaver knife. The baby's cry intensifies into a scream. You can't keep her waiting. Why did this happen to us? I, I don't... Jack pulls her in, kisses her head. I don't know. I was scared too. But I did what I had to. We're her parents, and we're going to take care of her, no matter what. Lauren helplessly nods. Jack turns her around to face the counter, softly positioning one of his hands on the cutting board. He places the knife in her other hand, his hand over the top of her fingers. Together, they raise the knife up. Lauren closes her eyes, biting down on her lip as the blade slams down, slicing through her fingers. (laughs) Blood from Lauren's lip rolls down her mouth over her chin. She releases a scream so loud it nearly masks the sounds of the baby's cry. Jack presses his lips against her head. I know. I know. Interior hallway. Night. Lauren carries three of her severed fingers. She stops in front of the door, decorated with purple paint of cursive that says, Amelia. She turns back, peers towards the kitchen. Jack is gone. Lauren then cracks the door open slightly, bends down, and tosses her fingers inside. She quickly closes the door. She slides down the frame of the door, dropping herself onto the floor. The baby's cries are replaced by the sound of her vehemently chewing on Lauren's flesh, her bones cracking with every bite. Lauren lifts up her hand, what's left of it anyways, as the blood streams down her arm, knowing that this is just the beginning of her end. Cut to black. The end.